Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Sobo the Potato. That's right, we're back. We're back in the oldest world, the oldest place around playing as Rome, as of course you know. Uh, right, so jumping right back into things, where are we? What do we want to accomplish over the course of this episode? Well, uh, I've just clicked the end turn button, so we're going to see exactly what we've got in store uh, over the course of the next turn. Bad, bad luck to start the episode, unfortunately. I am now, I am now ill, which is, uh, which is very, very disappointing. Um, you will be aware, of course, that, uh, you know, in the last episode, we managed to, uh, we managed to steal the capital of Assyria, which is, I mean, it's, it's just plummet tremendous, to be honest. So, uh, from that perspective, things are in a, a semi, uh, semi-decent state. I might see, I might see, actually, if we can... If we can manage to uh, to get a secondary city at some point, another Assyrian city would be uh, would be kind of nice. There's a city over here that I believe yet yeah, just needs to render in there. Um, I kind of want to reverse my scout, so I'm not going to take damage, or at least try to minimize the damage that I've taken, and also give us a little bit of extra exploration goodness. However, it seems that it seems that Egypt is quite content just to do the vast majority of the fighting over here. So, uh, so yeah, that's pretty good. That's going to level up our points. I should say that I'm actually anticipating this being the last episode. I'm kind of optimistic, actually, that we are going to be able to, uh, that we're going to be able to win over the course of this episode. So, yeah, I'm optimistic. I'm very, very optimistic. Uh, right, 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 right. We need to find a brand new city over here. Obviously going to be controlling uh, Asur in a bit, uh, so that's going to take a couple of turns, but but we'll get there as well. Anything going on up here? Nothing too major. Nothing too major at all. Uh, I think that is a Greek city over there. I don't think that that's the Danes. We're probably going to end up going to war. Probably going to end up going to war with Greece again over the course of this episode. And to be honest, I feel like I'm ready. I feel like I'm ready for it. Uh, let's get you moved over to there, and then, yeah, let's just continue to build out, let's continue to build out our colossal infrastructure. Also, I want to make sure that Ostiv, Ostiv needs to gain as much culture as we possibly can, because this is the only place that we're able to build the remaining two wonders, so we need to try, we need to try and get... Uh, and get some more culture. If I build some disciples, I tell you what, if I build disciples and then I rush build these disciples, it's going to give me 16 discontent. Is that something that I really care about? I mean, it's not something that I really care about, to be honest. I don't, I don't think it is. I mean, does the discontent level actually increase culture? Huh, okay, well, that's, uh, that's super interesting. Right, so let's get these, let's get these both, let's get these both sorted, shall we? Yeah, so does the does the discontent it just it just gives negative family opinion. Well, I can definitely sustain some negative family opinion for now. Uh, so let's do that. Let's get the two disciples sorted as quickly as we possibly can. Again, let's see if we can try and establish a monastery or something. Anything that has the uh, the remote chance of giving us culture is uh, is something that I'm interested in, frankly. So uh, so yeah, that's good. What else do we need to get built over here? Build a courthouse. Building a courthouse in this area is uh, is a courthouse good for culture? No, therefore it's not going to be a priority. But I guess there's nothing else really to build in Ostiv over here. Uh, Shrine of Venus, actually, unironically not a terrible idea. The two wonders that we've got remaining, by the way. The Pantheon and Hagia Sophia, I believe, or Hagia Sophia, I, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Either way, we need legendary culture, and we need uh, we need legendary culture pretty darn fast. We're at strong level 1 at the moment, we're gaining 12 per turn, so, you know, we've got a long way to go. we got a long, 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 long way to go, but, uh, but hopefully we're going to be able to boost our culture as much as possible. Cool. Alright, you, you can just chill out. Do we want to build build a stronghold um ah, not really unlock hastus yeah i guess i guess we can build a stronghold over here sure build a stronghold it is going to take a uh, a good long time to build but we do need to up our defenses in ostiv anyway purely because i am still terrified of uh, of babylon babylon invading which would be uh which would be pretty pretty darn worrying yeah. Also, if I could just get some more Hastuses in general, that would be great. Do we have a stronghold? Do we have a stronghold over in Rome? I don't know if we have a stronghold over in Rome. 
Yeah, what are the requirements for building a uh, for building a stronghold? A citadel, and unlock uh, a legion legionary. Yeah, I mean we've already got that, don't we? Yeah, we definitely have a stronghold over here. Yeah, we definitely have a stronghold. Let's build a let's build a citadel. Sure. I mean, I'm interested in a whole bunch of unique buildings. We need to try and we need to try and get them. You know, we need to try and get more and more unique buildings. That's what I am after, as well as of course winning. Uh, also, let's try and see if we can expand our borders of Rome. We're going to put some specialists into uh, the furthest reaches. Uh, we're also going to start training a settler. I actually think I want to train the settler first. Purely because we've got that brand new that brand new city site over over here, which we have yet to build upon. Uh, anything else that I'm super bothered about? Uh, a little bit of research would probably be nice. We care about borders, yeah. So I guess we'll expand the camps out there as well. Yeah, cool. All right, that's not too shabby. Uh, not not too many things to do with our colossal number of orders at this moment in time, but again, that's fine. It doesn't particularly matter. I'm quite content just to just to chill out and let uh, let this happen. Oh no 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 no. Okay, so uh, I've managed to infiltrate Assyria's territory. That's good. That's because I just want to see what the heck is going on. Uh, and what is not good is that I am now severely ill. That's a it's a big old a big old bummer. That's 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 very very not good. Right, is, is Egypt still at war with... Egypt is still at war with Assyria. They're still fighting on the front lines. So I want to see if I can try and mobilize my troops to maybe... To maybe just take... <laughs> to maybe just take uh, another bit of territory. I mean, I don't really want to do this. However, I think... We can't pass up on an opportunity. So I'm actually going to bring a couple of troops down here. Let's bring the troops that we don't currently have fortified. Yeah, so I'm going to move you down here as well. We're gonna leave you on that city site for now. That's pretty important. Uh, I guess we can bring this uh, this legionary actually because that's it's a pretty strong unit. And by pretty strong I mean that it's got 15 bloomin' strength. We are 100% concerning ourselves with, uh, with getting as many upgrades as we possibly can. I'm gonna force march you. I'm gonna force march you 32 flippin' orders to get down here. Is that a worthwhile thing to do? I unironically think so. Here you come. You've just arrived. Brilliant. Uh, give a sewer to the family that hates me the most or dislikes me the most. However, in saying that, if I could get... If I could get... If I could get... If I could get the Valerius family... Sure, I'll take uh, I'll take it I'll take it on as a Valerius family, and that yeah that actually propels us to first place, which is really really good in the uh, in the rankings. Very 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 nice. Uh, I think this is my sister, and this is also the spy master. Yeah, this is also the spy master, which is kind of cool. Let's see if we can boost our. Yeah, if she's a spy master, then you know that family opinion modifier not super handy, but yeah. Might become handy at some point. Aha! Prominent leaders of Antium was to host a seasonal festival celebrating national values. Uh, we can take a whole bunch of civics. Now, are civics going to come in handy for uh, for any laws? Do we need to introduce any laws? Not really. So I'm I'm going to, I guess, deprioritize civics for a while. And instead, we'll, uh, we'll throw the points into research. Because research is, I mean, it's taking a long time. We're working on the windlass. But uh, that's going to give us the polybolus, which is a ranged and infantry unit, which is very, very cool. What do we got? 150 research? Oh, yeah. 150 additional research? That's 300 flipping research over the course of this turn uh, alone. Uh, okay. There is another city that we can take, which has just been left wide open, which is phenomenal. I mean, okay. We gotta, we gotta take it. I think we're, I think we're gonna move our troops out here to, uh, to start taking the city, right? Yeah, there we go. Let's uh, let's start pinging it down. Not not huge amounts of damage, but yeah, it's fine. We've also got to make sure that we've got troops at the ready to jump into. Actually, hold up. Go uh, go back. Rewind rewind time just for a second. Yeah, rewind time, and then let me see exactly what's going on over here. That's still got an Assyrian presence in there. 
Uh, and it's not like we could take, it's not like we could take it with the Hastus. So, you know what, I'm gonna just park up my archers nearby, and we're gonna just let Egypt do, like, all of the work, as we always try to do. I'll keep an eye on what's going on here, and then we can, uh, we can swoop in at the last moment and, <laughs> and take the city again. Man, oh man, oh man, that would be, that would be absolutely fantastic, and I would very, very, very much like to do that. You don't have anything that I want you to do. Ah, yes, the Disciple. I would like to establish a monastery, please. Where are we going to establish a monastery? Does it need to be... It needs to be on an urban... It needs to be on an urban tile. Do we actually have any urban tiles? I mean, we can establish a monastery right here. We can build... What the heck is this? We can build the Adur Burzen Mur? Okay, we require... We require 360... We require 360 of, uh, of that. I mean, that's, that's quite a lot. That's quite a lot, and that's something that we can definitely do. Can I actually buy this? I don't think I can, I don't think I can buy the resources that I need in order to make this happen. No, I absolutely cannot. Okay, well, we'll build a, we'll build a monastery adjacent to groves, gives a bonus, but, uh, I mean, I guess we can build the monastery. I guess we have to build the monastery over here, right? Like, yeah, because it's got to be an urban. In saying that, or it needs to be adjacent to urban. That's cool, too. In saying that, this can also be... Yeah, I tell you what. I tell you what. Reverse. Go over here. Build the monastery. But we're not able to build the monastery because we're not able to remove the trees, I don't think. If we were to remove the trees, then we would be able to build this in this location. Uh, however, this location is also appropriate. Okay, apparently there's trees here too. Is there trees in every single tile that I want to go to? Alright, let's build the monastery right there. Six years to build the monastery, it's gonna be worth it. Don't worry about that, Scout. Scout doesn't have anything to do. Uh, we now have control of Asur. This is fantastic. Okay, build a Hastis. A Hastis in four years? Oh my goodness, that is incredible. Uh, let's also get it all repaired. Let's build walls, let's build a treasury, build a forum, build an archive, a hunt. Ooh, that's a repeatable event that gives us a whole bunch of food. Uh, workers, I'm not super bothered about the workers, to be honest. There's a couple of pillaged mines, but those pillaged mines are going to be coming offline soon because they're pillaged, uh, which is not great. Man, this is a great city, actually. This is a real good city. This is a real good city. Uh, after that, I guess we'll just queue up a couple of specialists. We've got five citizens that are currently unoccupied. We'll put the citizens to the uh, to the borders to expand the city. And then we've also got something going on over here. Uh, let's build walls, a moat, forum, treasury, etc. I mean, we've got plenty of stone, right? We might as well just throw all of our points into... Might as well throw all of our points into, into just making sure that all of our base level of infrastructure is... Uh, is appropriate, is is expansive enough. The more culture, the more civics, the better, really. I mean, we need more civics in order to build this uh, new... Uh, whatchamacallit thing. Am I taking am I taking hits here? On my camel archer? Ah, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. I lost the camel archer. Little bit of a bummer. Uh, but truth be told, it's... Oh, no. The end is near. Who's, who's my heir? Is my heir any good? Oh, no, 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 not, not that great, not that great at all, not that great at all. However, she does have the, she does have the lumber mill perk, which is a 50% increase in output, which is quite nice. <laughs> very, very nice, in fact. Okay, are we gonna be able to, no, we're definitely not gonna be able to take that city unless I was to bring across, I mean, a serious number of troops, but even that would probably result in bit of a disastrous occurrence. Oh, a settler over there. Right, just chill out over here. Pass your turn. Yep, brilliant. You've completed building a mine, which is wonderful. Urban Shrine of Mars or a lumber mill over here. I'm not really bothered about either a lumber mill or, or anything. Actually, you know what I think I would like to do? I would actually like, legitimately, to start building a big old road down to Asur. That would be phenomenal. So you're building that, that's great. You're building that, you're building that. Everyone is building something, which is wonderful. Let's do the events. Uh, okay, this is my heir, so whatever we choose here needs to be... 
needs to be important, needs to be big. Let's do wisdom. Yeah, sure, whatever. Sure, we'll do that. We'll get a little bit of a little bit of courage, a little bit of wisdom. It's a good mix. What have we got? Ah, yes, we've got a governor choice to make. And I have to be honest, these governor choices leave a lot to be desired. A lot, 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 lot to be desired. We can't get any nets bonuses. I guess it's got to be the soldier in order to make sure that we don't start bleeding either cash or anything else. In fairness, though, our cash is in a very, very good position. Uh, immigrants uh, gain a scout in Beneventum and five orders. I will actually take the five orders on this rare occasion because, 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 because I'm quite keen to move these troops down. All right, there we go. Move these troops all the way down. Now, if I was to... If I was to take the city... I, You know, to be honest, I, I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to take the city quite yet. Yeah, keep it coming. Oh, the Scythians. We're not at war with them, though. Are the Egyptians at war with the Scythians? Probably. Oh, no, they don't, actually. They're not actually at war with the Scythians. That's, uh... That's quite good. Okay, so I'm just basically going to force march both of my axemen down here, which I think is going to put us in a good position next turn. We're going to swoop in and take uh, this city over here, and then the turn after that, we're going to see if we can take uh, Halab, and after that, Arpad. Okay, that's cool. Very, very cool indeed. Right, you need to build a big old a big old culture building for me, so I'm very, very excited for that, because that's going to increase our culture tremendously. All of the other bonuses, not that bothered about, to be honest. Not that bothered about at all. We do still need to remove the trees, so we need to get we need to get somebody qualified in the uh, in in the tree removal business. That would be pretty darned good to do. Is there literally anything else that we can build? I don't even know. Nothing else is being recommended for for building in Rome, with the exception of a quarry over here, which is, gotta be honest, distinctly lame. Right, we'll move you around there. What else have we got? We got a scout who can't do anything this turn because we don't have the resources. And you can just pass your turn anyway because we're just waiting. Treasury forum. Archive. The whole shebang. Uh, this is the... Yeah, this is our newest city, actually. I'll tell you what, we should build a worker. But a worker takes 17 flipping turns. Don't give me that. Give me a, give me an axe man or two. That's That's fine. That's absolutely fine. And then let's head on over to the next turn. I think we might be dead. I think we might be dead. This is not a good this is not a good turn to be me. Probably gonna die. Not loving that. Also, let's let's see exactly what the situation is over here. Oh. Are we gonna be attacked? I mean, Egypt is doing a fantastic job. I gotta be honest. A, an absolutely brilliant job of Yeah. All right. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. We're dead. That's it's pretty pretty irritating, to be honest. But ah, it is what it is, right? That is what it is. Yeah, Egypt is doing a Egypt is doing a, a blooming great job, in fact, of of just of just just taking so much. It's taking so much of the heat from me. It really is fantastic. We need to make sure that they don't peace out Assyria because I'm a little bit nervous that they will. And we're not gonna have the we're not gonna have the civics to also piece out this area because we're about to throw all of those points into building into building this thing. Oh, do we need to remove the trees? No, we don't even need to worry about moving the trees. Eight years until that's completed. That's kind of cool. Excellent. Uh, anything else that I'm remotely bothered about? Not really. I think we just build a quarry here. I mean, you know, there are three adjacent mountains, so that's nice, and that's. Obviously within the boundaries of Rome. I say obviously, it's not at all obvious that it's within the boundaries of Rome. However, it is within the boundaries of Rome. Which is fine. Uh, let's do the decisions first. Taking the crown, gain a festival in Rome. Oh, 300 culture in Rome. 300 culture in Rome is, is not super essential, to be honest, because we're we're already up to legendary. However, the stronger, the stronger our culture is, the best, as far as I'm concerned. Gifts by sword point. Greek merchants historic by armed soldiers arrive in the capital to negotiate a new trade deal. Yeah, I mean, I'm fine with sending gems to Greece, to be honest. I, I really don't care. Like, that is uh, that is absolutely fine. A new governor for the city of Antium. 
I am frankly not going to choose myself. I'm going to choose the other person. And then I'm going to see Ostiv. That's right. Let's see if... Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. It's, it's so perfect. It's so perfect. It's the most perfect governor in the world. It is going to mean that the other the dude is going to become slighted. I mean, do I particularly care about that? He's 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 good, but he's not he's not as good as me. I mean, I am the leader here. I am the leader here. Yes, it is it is absolutely what we want to do. And look at that, a massive massive expansion, massive massive expansion in the number of uh, the number of bits of wood that we're getting. A hundred and seventy two wood coming from Ostiv or Ostia. Sorry, by the way. Holy cow. Holy cow, all of the other cities consume. I mean, if we lose this city, if we lose this city, then our then our wood production just goes just goes away. It just it's just it's just disappeared. It is just disappeared. Uh, right, I don't think that there's any need to move on to move on Assyria at this point. Uh, to be honest, I think we're totally totally fine. Let's move move into the woods over there or at least brush. Yeah, we'll just keep an eye on, on Egypt and the uh, and the Scythians and we'll just keep an eye on absolutely everything that's going on. Totally, totally, totally fine. We've got a settler coming up in one turn, which is pretty darn good. we got one more event. Uh, what have we got? 150 civics. 150 civics honestly might not be the worst in the world. I mean... Could take 40 culture, but I really don't care about the culture. I, t I care about the civics right at this moment in time. Given that we have, you know, sacrificed quite a lot of civics in order to make sure... Let's go and scout it this way. Sure. Uh, given that we sacrificed a lot of civics in order to make this religious building down there, we probably want to make sure that, uh, you know, we've got a little, a little bank of civics ready to leap into action, if indeed that is required. Uh, do, 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 do. anything else that we need to do right at this moment in time? Not particularly. I'll tell you what, I'm going to get you guys to come over here and fortify up. Apprentice Acolyte coming up in a couple of turns. Yeah, let's get you moved over here and let's start you fortif fortifying. And I think that's pretty much all of my units on a space, which is, which is nice. It will be nice. You don't need to do anything. Yeah, we need to find something for these two these two workers to do. Building a barracks in this vicinity wouldn't be a bad idea, given that this is going to be the front line of all major conflicts going forward. Shrine of Mars. Yep, can never go wrong with uh, with too much courage and or culture. Rome is, is still fully expanded as much as possible. There is no no way that we can. We can faff around with that. Oh yeah, I do actually want to get... Actually, let me undo that. Let me undo that. And I want you to actually build a road here. Yeah, I said I was going to build a road down to uh, to Asura. So let's do that right now. As a priority, please. Let's move you in here. Let's get a mine in here. We'll just increase our stockpile of iron. I don't really know if there's anything that we care about building in... Neopolis. I mean, a governor, a governor wouldn't go amiss. Also gives us a little bit of a uh, little bit of an increase in orders. Yeah, literally nothing else that we need to do. Cool. Next turn. Wonderful. Okay, so we've still got a legacy ambition. We've got a, I mean, a ridiculous ambition to be honest to try and capture eight foreign cities. I'm not unbelievably optimistic about uh, about about that. However, we're going to give it our best shot. My scout died. That's a bit of a problem. Uh, Egypt has got a new ruler. Egypt is still at war with Assyria, and that's what I care about, frankly, so that's okay. Okay, I'm gonna move... I'm gonna move all my units in here. In anticipation for Egypt wiping out some of the Assyrian troops. But I don't really want to help if I can... If I can avoid it. So I'm gonna go into, uh, fortify mode. Right here, right now. I don't even want to attack. I don't even want to attack any Assyrian troops, to be honest. I could plunder some plunder some resource, but I'm about to take I'm about to take over. I don't I don't really know if I want to do that. No, I guess I'll just uh, I guess I'll just be inactive. 
Delegation from Egypt arrives with a marriage proposal. Ooh, yes. I mean, I, I do actually want that. That is fantastic. Ooh, do, 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 do. Yes, 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 yes. 15 science as a, as a dowry. That's, uh, I mean, that's woeful. That is absolutely woeful. Sure, I'll take you. Congratulations. We've now got an Egyptian husband. How cool is that? Very, very cool indeed. I like it. I like it a lot. Uh, governor for Syracuse. Sure, let's... Uh, you're probably not actually terrible. Let's get this this guy. 100 XP for, uh, for new units, which is great. After we finish building the moat, we are going to 100% just try and throw down a couple of... To be honest, archers. Archers are pretty good. Let's get some archers. Air education. Is this my daughter, by the way? No. Do I have a daughter? No. My aunt is actually going to become heir. Because, of course, I just got married. Let's get uh, let's get somebody who's au fait with, uh, with science. Claudia's family stages a contest of rhetoric discussing the merits of our highly centralized state. They request that the court send a royal scholar to defend the status quo. Despite appearances, the Claudia assure us that their interest in the matter is purely theoretical. Hire a master orator in order to speak on our behalf. Send whoever has the uh, spare time. Or refuse to subject our policies to debate. Ooh. I mean, sure. Let's hire a, a master orator. I mean, it costs 680 bucks, but I mean, to be honest, we're, we're fine. We're fine in terms of cash. The settler has finally been completed. Brilliant. Let's move move the settler. In fact, we can just, we can just settle on this turn. Why the heck not, eh? This is such a garbage city. Like, this is... This has got to be one of the most garbage city sites that I think I've founded thus far. But I will find it nonetheless. I will find it nonetheless. And I will find it as a Claudius city, which is going to upset the Valerius to no end, no doubt. However, it's, you know, it's fine. Let's continue to build a road down here. In fact, you might not be a terrible worker just to come over here and... Uh, Build a couple of build a couple of things in the new cities because we are a little bit a little bit short on improvements in the new cities. I, I've sort of left them behind. Let's build a pasture over there. Uh, what am I what am I looking at here? What do we got? Ah, this worker. No, I you know I don't think that we want to build any more any more stuff any more stuff in this area. We got to save some space for wonders, which is pretty important. Let's move a couple of workers across to either help with you know new city expansion or. Uh, or some roads. Yep, Greek city over here. Are Greek and Babylon... Are Greece and Babylon at war? Yes, they are indeed, which is really, really good. Unfortunately, it looks like there's a mountain range between them, which is pretty irritating. Pretty irritating, actually, because... Was kind of banking on them, maybe tearing some chunks out of each other. That would be real good. Also, we need to get back in Valerius' good books. Send them gems. Uh, yeah, send them gems, actually. Send them gems when our turn comes around. Oh, it's time. It's time, I think. Or is it time? I think maybe actually one more turn. Uh, do I want... Oh, actually, what's our what's our culture level in Asur? It's strong level three. So, unironically, I think that... I think that you are a great choice. Congratulations. Congratulations, husband. You're now in you're now in charge of Assur. Okay, I mean Egypt has got a lot of troops here, but Assyria's still got a couple. I just don't want to miss out, you know? I don't wanna I don't wanna wait too long. It is gonna take rather a long time to siege though. Yeah, I can wait. I can wait another turn. I can definitely afford to wait another turn. Cool. I, I say definitely. I don't know if that's the case. Right, court merchants have arrived from Greece with an offer of trade, as far as I'm concerned. Absolutely. Absolutely. We can go for courage, or indeed we can go for science. I think science is probably the most valuable commodity at this moment in time. Must wage war on Greece, or alternatively, uh, ruin opinion with Babylon. Honestly, I'll ruin the opinion with Babylon. There's no need to go to war with Greece at the moment if we can avoid it. Cancel trade. We'll stop trading with Babylon. Why would I do this? Okay, uh, ruin Greece's opinion of me. Okay, just apparently, apparently that's just the worst combination of 
of events that we possibly could uh, could have. What is this? Dignitaries from Assyria are passing through the region on a diplomatic mission. Uh, ambassador wishes to host them at uh, at the palace. It's no secret that tensions are high with the Assyrians. I mean, we do own their capital. We do own their capital. That that is that is somewhat of a problem. I don't care about Assyrian opinions of me, frankly. Uh, we're about to clean up, uh, clean up, and we're just going to get rid of them entirely. I think I care more, much more, actually, about. I care much more about the fact that I want modifiers. I want modifiers, and uh, I want as many as we possibly can get. So yes, please, that would be great. Right, let's continue on this almost continental length road here. You need to come over this way and build... Tell you what, yeah, build a road here too. The more roads we have, the merrier. Oh, I can actually harvest salt. That's kind of cool. And then that is at the top of the map. Interesting. Very, very interesting. So Babylon basically, you know, from here over in the capital, right the way over to here, they've got, wow, they've got a lot of, they got a lot of city sites. They have a lot of city sites. But you know what? I'm in the lead. I'm in the lead, gosh darn it. I'm in the lead. 18 out of 32 points. Maybe I was ridiculously overambitious to think that this would be the last episode. However... I'm still optimistic. Still very, very optimistic. Right. Okay. Egypt is trying to assault the city, but as having, like, no luck. No luck whatsoever. Our spy master approaches us with an unusual request. A laboratory for poisons. Yes, please. Let's do that. Intrigue must remain honorable. Uh, she's going to dislike me. She does like me at the moment, to be honest, though. Or becomes Master Poisons and gives me 34. Uh, I'll actually take the four orders and I think the courage. The courage is much more important in this instance. Am I am I legitimately going to be able to work down the city? I think I, I have to move my troops into a position where uh, where they can attack. In order for Egypt to be unable to do so. Okay, I'm gonna have to march you in here. There's not even a there's not even a point. Just fortify you. Uh fortify you as well. Get a defensive bonus. And the archer the archer is already within range anyway. So it's just a case of Egypt is gonna do one round of damage, then I hope I'm gonna be able to sneak my way in, which is which is kinda nice. Uh we've got a Hastas here as well, so I can move you into that position too. And in Asur, you can just chill out there for now. Man, the fact that we're able to pop Hastas out in three years. Goodness gracious me, that is ridiculous. That is absolutely ridiculous. That is so unbelievably powerful. We are going to be able to... We're going to be able to do a lot of damage over here. Right, fortify there. And next turn, as I say, we're going to attack. I think that's the most optimum way to go about doing it. I mean, Egypt is going to have basically no gains at all from attacking Asur. Which, I kind of feel for Egypt, to be honest. I kind of feel for Egypt a lot. Let's build a pasture. Pastures are good for orders. I like that. Uh, barracks. I don't really think that we need to build barracks. Don't think we need to build anything else over here, as I've already said. Let's just move you out and start working on the road. Wonderful. We don't even need to build a mine there. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Next turn. Next turn, and then let's let's head back down to, uh, to here and see what the heck is going on. Right. Greece's turn. I'm looking for Egypt's turn and Assyria's turn. I might take a little bit of damage on some of these troops, but I'll probably be fine. Okay, interestingly, the Surveyor. Cool. Uh, interestingly, my uncle is now severely ill and you've given birth to a daughter. Wonderful. Interestingly, it doesn't look like Egypt is, well, first of all, in a position to actually attack, which is great. However, in saying that, I'm not really in a position to attack either. Not at all. Not at all. All right, am I going to move? Yeah, I think I'm going to move you out here. Okay, so I now completely surround the city. If if they move that horse archer away from that tile, I'm going to swoop in with my archer. And we're going to be able to deal damage. It's still a little bit contentious. I, I'm not going to be able to siege down the city, even though I've got uh, a good Hastus. Yeah, there's just not enough damage. It's going to take me at least two turns of sieging to get there. 
Right, what do we what do we want? Gain an Axeman? I'll take an Axeman, to be honest. Free Axeman is nice. Don't really care about citizens over there. Uh, what would we like to do? All families... All families hate me. Prioritize religion as a state goal. Yeah, okay, that's great. That's wonderful. So, enact orthodoxy. I think... I think, yeah, once you're done doing whatever the heck you're doing... Established theology consumes the unit requires a state religion. Oh, how the heck do I uh, how the heck do I get a state religion? We need to just adopt it. Okay, well we can adopt it not next turn but the turn after. Uh, yeah. Okay. Wow. That, that's going to immediately give us a, a a little bit of a culture boost as well, which is which is great. Okay, I'm going to put you to sleep for now, and let's also bring you around here. So you can go and work on... I mean, that's a very, very nice quarry. Like, that's a really nice quarry as quarries go. In saying that, though, I think we value the farm a little bit more. Try and develop some of these, some of these places, as I've already spoken about. Add a road in there. Wonderful. And anything else that we need to build over here. I tell you what, a courthouse is not, is not terrible. Not terrible at all. No... No buildings that we can really build here. Build a pasture up uh, up in this area. That's kind of cool, I guess. Just go for a little explore around the Babylonian turf. They're mobilizing a whole bunch of units. Not for war with me. For war with Greece, no doubt. So that's fine. Capturing eight foreign cities. Holy cow. I don't understand how I'm going to be able to do that. that like, that is... That is incredible. That's an incredible, incredible ask. Okay. And then what do we got? Another builder. Brilliant. I mean, that is... Uh, it's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of stuff that we got going on. I wonder if it counts as barbarian cities. If I was to... If I was to capture a barbarian city, I wonder if that would count as a... As a notch towards my objective. To my quest. I don't think it would. I don't think it would at all. Uh, the Polybolus, we are... We're working towards. We're gonna get that at some point. Almost certainly soon. Ah, uh, you moved the... You moved the horse archer. You moved the horse archer out of position. It's a fatal... A fatally terrible mistake, Egypt. A wise advocate for the people? Ugh, I mean... Sure, or a builder. Can add urban tiles... Multiple workers can... Oh, actually, yeah. This is really, really cool. This is really, really cool. So, uh, we gain the judge, and that's minus 50% loss, which costs can hurry, special, uh, can hurry specialist production with money. So, that's great, because we have basically an unlimited pool of money. However, 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 this, this is great, this trait. Uh, so, it can add urban tiles, and multiple workers can build improvements... All cities, minus 50% train time for workers, can serve as governor or chancellor. Yes, 100% yes. So now we can actually build... We can actually build... See this? Okay, I'm not able to do it on this turn. Maybe next turn I will be able to indeed add... I'll be able to add multiple workers to uh, to the same tile. But I have done that before, and it is, it is pretty darn cool. Uh, right, we still can't adopt... A state religion yet, but that's okay. We can do that in well, around about three turns, give or take. Let's do the events. Claudius family. Uh, I don't want to go to war with Greece. I'm gonna, I'm gonna irritate the Claudius family a little bit. Thankfully, all the families don't hate me. A great merchant or a great minister. I'll take a great minister to be honest, because we are really in need of a few extra civics. So that's quite important. Your husband wishes to spend a year among the monks in Ostia and master his passions. The monks are honored, but they request a donation to keep the monastery in good repair for their royal guest. Oh, a culture bonus. A culture bonus is exactly what we need in Ostia. I mean, we are all about we are all about improving the culture in Ostia. I mean, that is literally, literally the, the, the aim of the game. Literally the aim of the flipping game. Uh, Hastases in five years. Man, I love these Hastases. We're going to build as many as we possibly can. Uh, he builds you with his charm. Your loyalty to your spouse stays your hand, but your heart cannot be helped. But yearn for this young man. Um, my love my love with my husband is real. I hate to break it to you. I just paid for him to go spend some time with the monks. So I got to get my money's worth, you know. 
Okay, let's continue to let's continue to explore Babylon. That is a city right there, even though it doesn't look like one. My goodness, there is just so much. There's so much happening. All right, keep coming. Wonderful. Excellent. And uh, yeah, just like that, just like that, we are... We are donezo. We're donezo, donezo, donezo. Festival, sure. Council, sure. Let's do it. I mean, we need more civics anyway, right? We're a little bit low on civics. That's the only area that I would say we're in a slightly dodgy position. I don't care about I don't care about our food rate. Oh, I was gonna move my archer in here, wasn't I? I forgot about that. Uh, my relative is now ill. That's fine. Okay. Let's move, move you up here. I think we now, you know, completely control the city. Okay. So that is, that is everyone attacked. Excellent. Next turn we'll be able to take it, no doubt. And that will be the first foreign city that we've taken, which is great. Let's get this road added. Goodness gracious me, there's so many build options that we have now, which is, uh, which is quite fun. Still can't move. Still can't move you in. Is it because you're a governor? Is it because you're governing and not leading? See, if I think you, I think if you were leading right now instead of uh, instead of governing, then you would in fact be able to to give me that sweet sweet builder builder boy bonus, which is what I'm after. We're building crossbowmen like there's no tomorrow. I mean, as soon as as soon as Greece is not stronger than us. We will we will attack them. I say as soon as I don't really want to attack them. It's either it's either between it's between Assyria no not Assyria we're we're Assyria is finished. It's between Greece and Babylon, right? But let's be let's be honest. Let's be honest about this. Babylon is much stronger than us, like remarkably stronger than us. So I don't really want to I don't really want to mess with them. They do scare me a little bit, actually. Right, let's just, uh, you know, we'll just invest more resources in building a big old road here. Let's continue to explore uh, Babylonian territory. Also, there was a couple of suggestions in the comments of the last video about building a navy in order to try and take out Egypt. To be, oh my goodness, look at how many cities Babylon has. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. I mean, Babylon's got a lot of cities. Babylon's got a lot of cities. There were suggestions in the last video. That's what I was, uh, that's what I was referring to. Yes, uh, in, in the last video, there's a couple of suggestions regarding building some boats and then sticking some sticking some troops on said boats and uh, and moving them around a little bit. It's a it's a novel idea. I I don't really think that it's worth me traveling to to Egypt in order to in order to do what needs to be done to Egypt. I think we're just gonna yeah we're probably just gonna yeah we're just gonna peace out peace out Egypt. I think we shall sell ore uh, but not make peace. I mean, I, I think we just peace, peace Egypt, to be honest. I mean, we're not going to attack them anyway, let's be honest. Uh, there's a horse archer that spawned in Assyria. Remarkable, frankly. We're not going to get it, disappointingly. But we are going to get a pretty loud and obnoxious sound effect. That's fine. Uh, yeah, Egypt might decide to nuke the archer here, but, I mean, at the end of the day, they're still not going to be able to do anything to stop me. I'm an unstoppable force at this point. I think we're only accelerating. We're only accelerating, and soon we're going to be bringing two wonders online. I say soon. That is a subjective term. Maybe we can... Maybe we can weasel... Ask to declare war on Greece. Maybe we can weasel uh, Egypt into attacking somebody. Like Babylon. Are they at war with Babylon already? No, they got a truce with Babylon. But they don't have a peace. They don't have a peace with anyone. I mean, we've got peace with uh, with Babylon and with Egypt now, which is, which is remarkably good. Right. Cool. Let's continue the building of this epic, legendary road. That I'm apparently building with like three workers now. I guess we could. Uh, I guess we could branch it off here. Actually, sure. Let's do this. Let's add a branch in the road, a fork in the road, if you'd like. 
shrine, barracks, pasture. Build a pasture. Sure, pastures are good. We like pastures. We like pastures around here. Pastures are good. Oh my giddy ant. Is that a special building? That's No, that's not a special building. That's a couple of libraries, each filled with master philosophers. Oh my goodness, Babylon is so big. There is so much stuff in Babylon. This is actually crazy. It's at times like this that I wish the... Uh... Oh, harvest the barley and then add a road. Brilliant. I haven't harvested anything in yonks. Uh, it's at times like this that I wish the AI was a little bit more team up -y. You know, I would love to... I'd love to try and coerce a couple of people into attacking other people. Like, we could unite against the tyranny of Babylon. I say that. I'm, I'm quite a tyrannical ruler myself. I'm partial to a little bit of tyranny once in a while. Uh, but, you know, that's that's not a feature that's in existence at this moment in time. So we've just got to we've just got to make do. We've just got to make do. Anyway, we're going to capture our first foreign city. We're going to enact a state religion this turn as well, which is quite exciting. Uh, relative is no longer ill. Don't worry about it. We got it. Oh my giddy ant. Okay, so Assyria is clearly spamming out. Spamming out a whole bunch of units. What if we go up to Apad? Or Arpad, I should say. Yeah, attack the city. Let's attack the city. We will progress up there next. And we'll basically just do the exact same thing. We're going to surround it. I think I've got another troop over here, don't I? Yeah, let's move you over here. I'll take the archer next turn. Move him around a little bit. We're building the forum. Yeah, maybe don't bother building the forum. Like, just honestly, build the Hastuses. The Hastuses are great. <laughs> They're really great. Uh, yeah, we need the Hastuses. Okay, capture eight foreign cities. That I guess that doesn't take effect until, until I actually control the city. So you keep moving this way. I mean, this is going to be the most expansive, extensive network of road connections that the world has ever seen. Goodness gracious me. Babylon has just got so much. I tell you what, it is even more intimidating see all, seeing all of these, you know, untextured buildings. It just looks, it looks scary. Uh, this is the scientist. I can upgrade your charisma a little bit. I can, I mean, are you governor at the moment? You're governor of Rome, so it's actually quite important what we decide to do. You don't have many years left in you. You don't have many years left in you. I'm going to put in a discontent negative modifier so that we can shrink our discontent as quickly as possible. That's great. Oh, wow. Hot garbage, actually. Hot garbage for uh, for both of the governor options for Antium. It's fine, though. And negative culture? Wow, because you're uncouth. That ain't, that ain't, that ain't good. The minister? Sure, we'll, we'll stick in the minister. I don't really care about any tutoring of the royal family. Not particularly bothered. This is not good. This is not good what Babylon's, what Babylon's got going on over here. It's, uh, it's not, not great. Oh, we completed the big old religious building in, in Ostia, which is really, really nice, in fact. Hastuses? Yes, build Hastuses, please, after the forum. Uh, so that's going to increase our culture tremendously. We're strong level 1. We need to level up to... We need to level up to 500. Then we need to level up to 500 again. Then we need to level up to 500 again in order to get ourselves to legendary culture level. There might be... There might be a way. There might be a way. I, I mean, I know, I know I've got a very good governor. I know I've got a very, very good governor in Ostia. That's right. The best. It's myself. However, in saying that, in saying that, we could appoint another governor who maybe tries to increase culture a little bit. Because you are pretty good. You are pretty good. And I think, I think that the modifier that I've got in place now... The surveyor. Yeah, I don't think that I get... I don't think that I, that I get the builder modification right now whilst I'm governing the city, but at the same time, it's pretty good. It's pretty good what we've got, what we've got going on. It, it is really, really good. Okay, Kiba Tech is going to be arriving in 
one turn, so that's really, really exciting. War with Greece is, is just around the corner. Just around the corner. We're maybe going to see if we can ask somebody to declare war on somebody. Babylon or Greece, preferably. Any attacking that can be done over the course of this turn? No, we've done it all, so that's fine. And I don't even think that there's anything else that we want to do over here. There's a quarry, maybe. We can throw down a quarry, but I mean... Yeah, I, I, yeah, nothing, nothing much. Should we, should we walk into, should we walk into, into Sipar and see if we can try and spread, spread this, spread the stuff? Sure, let's go. Sipar already has, yeah, I mean, you're still at peace with me. Yeah, you're still at peace with me. Oh yeah, I need. Oh no, actually, keep you back. I need you to. I need you to uh, exist. I need both of you guys to exist, actually, because we need to adopt as a religion, and then we need to establish orthodoxy. And the way that we establish orthodoxy is where is orthodoxy here? It's around somewhere. He says with relative enact orthodoxy. Yeah. Mythology, redemption, revelation, veneration, dualism, enlightenment, legalism, gnosticism. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Monastery plus three culture per year. Yeah, that's that's really, really good. Orthodoxy is a law. Why am I even thinking of... Orthodoxy is a law. Where is it? 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 Yeah, so what do we need? We need theology. We need theology, and we will indeed try and get that. Okay. So it turns out, don't even need to worry about that even slightly. Let's spread, let's spread our religion. I don't really know what the bonuses are for spreading the religion, to be honest. I mean, I know what they are, but is it even really worth doing, truth be told? I, I don't, I don't know if it is. That's connected to our capital now, that's great. Uh, let's get you to build a farm over here, try and grow our cities as much as possible. I really do feel like growing cities isn't that important really oh, three turns three turns oh yes spam out as many of these as we possibly can 200 iron a pop we're actually pretty low on iron but mostly because it requires quite a lot of iron to make these units uh festival council let's do it all beneventum i tell you what we could and we should throw all of our throw all of our glorious citizens into the mines so that we can build so that we can build more units so that we can produce more iron so that we can build more units right next turn next turn polybolus please give it to me that's what we're after that is what we're after also let's check on what's going on over here Ah, something happened, and uh, we need to choose a brand new governor for Rome. Uh, legionary is not a is not a ranged unit, which is a bit of a bummer. Lumber mills, fifty percent output. As the scientist, I mean, you're the best, aren't you? Six point nine. I tell you what, th uh, 13, 13, 13 science is pretty good. I'll take I'll take thirteen science. Sure. All right, great. Right, so let's uh, let's take a, a little look at what's going on down here. We need to keep an eye on we need to keep an eye on the situation in this area. There's still a whole bunch of Assyrian troops over here. I think I can take Arpad before before Egypt clocks on to what I'm actually doing. I feel so I feel so mean, but all right, can we take it? You know what? I unironically can take it if I wish just to move you up there. Do we have any troops? We don't have any troops nearby. However, I can move a troop down. Let's move a troop down just to make sure that we have a troop in the city. Yeah. Okay, so do that. And then do the attacks again. 
There we go. We take the city. Okay, that is our second city conquered, which is great. The fact that we were able to accomplish that in a single turn is is actually incredible. And so that's Caesarea. You're furious now because I've taken all of your cities. I well, there you go. My ambassador is is apparently a major force of a major force of the the reason that we do have some positive positive you the reason that you still have some positive opinion of me. Goodness gracious me. Confusing confusing words? Words are confusing. Words words are definitely confusing. These word things. Okay, I should undo that, by the way. Before I build a road, I should harvest the elephants. That sounds absolutely dreadful, but you know what I mean, right? Let's build a grove, uh, because I like food and I like citrus. Let's go for that. Build Nahastas in five years. Let's move you up here. Fortify there. Again, not really worried about Babylon doing anything at this moment in time, but you never know. It could happen. You're going to chill out for a while. Yeah, you're going to chill out for a while. I mean, we're out of orders, actually, so there's nothing more that I can do over the course of this turn. Anyway, okay. Why did I not unlock the, uh, the tech? Well, we're going to unlock it this turn, which is great. The map is updating. That's two foreign cities. That's two foreign cities that are now mine, which is great. The ruler of Greece has died. Uh, I've given birth to a daughter, and one of my relatives is ill. That kind of sucks. Who is this? This is my relative. No idea what he's really doing here, but you know what? Sure. 100 XP for new mounted units. Are you... You're not a governor. You're not a governor. You're not a governor at all. You're just gonna give me... Give me another 0 0.5 orders, I guess. Totally fine. Uh, let's turn our attention to building some roads. A huge, great road project. I love it. I actually love it. <laughs> I love the fact that we are building this colossal road network. Okay. So you go there. Then you go there. And what else we got? Got another disciple. Should we spread... Should we spread our religion to the mountains? I think not. There's no one... No one else. Oh, no, I can't. I can't, I, I can't even do that because we need to... We need to adopt. We need to adopt as a religion. We need to adopt a thingy as a state religion. But we also need to get theology done. Let me do let me do the research, the research check first. There we go. Let's pick some research. We can provide gold. We're in no position to give gold. I 1600 gold is a lot of gold. To be honest. We're in no position to give gold. Right, let's choose some research. Theology, the fact that we're going to be able to do that in a couple of years is changing my mind. We're going to save our points, and then we're going to enact orthodoxy in line with our quest, which is kind of nice. Uh, we can also do some polyboluses. Poly, polyboluses. I like the sound of that. Build a ministry. Sure, let's build a ministry. And continue our exploration. I shouldn't be using my orders like this. I should be waging war, frankly. Oh, goodness me. There's just too many. There's too many units. There's too many units. They're everywhere. I right, keep going. Build a great road. A great road from the top of the continent to the very bottom. Okay, we got workers that are engaged over there. Fine. Move you down. Yeah, this is going to be very, very difficult to wage war unless we can build some more hastuses in a, in a sewer. Right, let's move our units down this way. So what do we got? We got three Assyrian troops over here. Right, I think what our best option is... Let's move... Let's leave you, let's leave you in there. Move the Hastuses down. Basically anyone who has got, you know, like a degree of full, full HP will move down. But we want to keep an eye on this, and we want to make sure that Egypt throws their troops in, you know, as much as much as they possibly can. They are the sacrificial. They are the sacrificial lambs, so to speak. Before, uh, before, before we are. Yeah. Okay. They're just getting annihilated. Just getting absolutely annihilated. Relative is no longer ill. Is he no longer ill because he's dead? That 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 is an occasional, an occasional quirk. Right, what do we got here? I think we can I think we can surround. I think we can surround. We'll go for the surround here. Do we need to do we need to rush? 
Might actually straight up just be easier to kill this unit on this occasion. I think it might be. Right, Hastus in here. Hastus in there. Let's move you around here. March you in there. And I cannot manage to march you through there. That's a very weird quirk. Right, then in that case, we will unwind you all the way over here. We will... We will move through these dudes there. And then we will see if we can try and get this around off. Oh, fantastic. The Hastis is just finished. Excellent. March you round to here. Ten in order to get there. Okay, move in there. Brilliant. So that should give us a little bit of latitude to surround the city. Egypt still might be able to take it in the turn, but I will definitely... In fact, no, I don't think, I don't think Egypt is going to be able to take it in the turn. If they do, that's going to be really, really irritating, but fine. I'll take the food. Uh, I will take... I will take the... I'll take the legitimacy, actually. Yeah, I'll take the legitimacy. We're getting to a point where legitimacy is actually kind of valuable. Kind of valuable. We're not necessarily running out of orders, but it's always good to make sure that our orders are in a reasonable place. Right, another road connection over here. Excellent. You can go and build a pasture over there. Excellent. Keep expanding. Oh, goodness gracious me. Keep expanding. Oh, the, I, I say keep expanding. Keep exploring is the term that I was looking for. All of these troops. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my giddy aunt. I suppose the thing about troops is that they're so cheap to maintain. Like, comparative to civilization, you know, where you can't really support that large of an army unless you, you know, you want to, you want to be ruined financially. In this game, you totally, you totally can. It just costs iron. Doesn't, I think it does cost money as well, but not that much money. Oh, maybe it doesn't even cost money. Oh, no. Egypt, you were able to take it. Oh, that's irritating. That's irritating. That's really, really irritating. That is very, very irritating. I mean, is that a problem? Is that a problem? Yes. Is it a fatal problem? No. That city is completely surrounded by, by me. So, I mean... We could declare war on Egypt right now, to be honest. We we have a similar level of strength. And to be honest, maybe Egypt is actually a good next target. Although, in fairness, in fairness, I have just constructed a massive cross-country cross country connection. So it probably wouldn't be super ideal. Um, the next time that I want to go to war with, uh, with Egypt, or the next time I want to go to war with anyone, I'm going to have... I'm going to have some really, really powerful units. I mean, this whole darn time, we've been prepping units. We now build Hastuses in a sewer in, like, three turns. Incredible. We build Legionaries in Rome in three turns. Also incredible. I mean, this is, this is, this is fantastic. This is really, really, really flipping good. Okay, uh, before we do workers, give me the events. What do we need? Library improvements. Conscript, uh, coinage. I'll take library improvements. We're going to get a... Yeah. Let's uh, adopt orthodoxy. Yep. State religion cities plus two civics per year. I mean, unironically, I would really like tolerance, but I'll enact... I'll enact orthodoxy because I think it's it's pretty important. Man, I'm irritated about Egypt there. That's, uh, that's a big old bummer. That is a big old bummer. Well, we're about to take control of, of this place, so... You know what I'm kind of hopeful for? I'm kind of hopeful that... I'm kind of hopeful that Egypt just, like, evacuates all of the troops from, uh, from this city. And then we'll just be able to swoop in here and take it just as a nice little... A nice little bonus whenever, whenever they decide to move out. Because they got to move out quick. Otherwise, all of their units are going to be trapped in there when I break my piece off with them. I say that like it's tremendously likely to happen. I don't think it's tremendously likely to happen. But you never know. It could happen. Okay. More stuff. Build a camp. Yep. Excellent. 
more and more and more amazing units are coming online. Oh man, this is great. This is great. Uh, any city that has got the opportunity to build anything is going to be tasked with building a polybolus because that is a legacy mission and it's still pretty important that I get that done. Cool. What do you want to do? Oh, there's nothing There's nothing else to do. I don't really care about improving these cities dramatically, to be honest. I guess you can go and build a road out here. Sure. All right, you, 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 what have we got? A polybolus. Yes, let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. Five years. Yep, so build that as well. Uh, an archive. We are doing a lot of archive improvements, to be fair. So this is a ranged and inventory unit. So it's a ranged unit and it does tremendous amounts of damage. Uh, we need to get long bowmen, long long archers. What's the technical term? Long bowmen. I think the technical term is long bowmen, long archers. Hastus is an Ostia, Elder Acolyte and Brundisium. That's fine. Axemen over here. But to be honest, don't think I really want to bother with an Axeman anymore. Let's instead see if we can try and con convert that to, uh, to Polybolus production. Still happy with walls over there. Hastus is in a little bit as well. So that is really, really good. I have a funny feeling that there's about to be a war with Greece. I have a funny, funny feeling. And this guy's going to disappear in just a sec as well, which is quite nice. There we go. Cool. All right, my aunt is now severely ill. I think you're the spy master, if I'm not mistaken. I think you're the spy master. Yeah, that ain't good. Okay, I will give. Um, I'll give it to. I'll give it to Claudius. I'll give it to Valerius. And I'll give the other one. In fact, maybe I'll just give them both to Valerius. You give them both to Valerius. Claudius is still a little bit upset. Your relative is too old. We cannot choose a new general. Why can we not choose a new general? It's a bit of a problem. The minister requests to become a traveling missionary. Uh, adopts... No. No one walks away. No one walks away. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Uh, anything? Oh, yeah. This used to be governed by... This used to be governed by the great scientist. And yet now you're not such a great scientist, are you? Sure. And we will choose... I guess we'll choose... I guess we'll choose something courage-related, to be honest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Can we build a road on a city tile? We can indeed. Excellent. Well, keep up the, uh, the good work then, workers. It's pretty important that we've got this connection. <laughs> I feel like it's, uh, it's not exactly important, per se. But it's, it's fun enough that I feel, uh, I feel it's quite nice. No, 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 no. Goodness gracious me, look at the units around the capital. Yeah, see, Babylon's got longbowmen. We need to get, we need to get our, we need to get our units converted to, uh, converted to longbows. Our archers converted to longbows. Uh, let's get a gardener as a specialist, mostly because I want to expand the borders. Don't need any more borders over here. Recommended that we build a scribe. I'll build a scribe over there. Polybolus is first in the line of production. Four years. Four flipping years. That's all it's going to take. Already used all this. Great. Uh, Polybolus. Yes, 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 yes. We are out of iron. Wow, we are literally out of iron. Literally out of iron. We're gaining 192 per turn. We're just not gaining it fast enough. That's kind of unbelievable, to be honest, but that's fine. Valerius family is converted to uh, Judaism. Now known as the Mason, and my aunt is no longer severely ill. Cool. All right. Can I send, I'll send salt to you? Send salt to you. Great. Just make sure that the families are happy with me so we don't reduce our production of, of any resources. My aunt is going to be around for a couple more years at least, so I guess we should bother upgrading her. Yeah, sure. Great. 
We need a whole heck of a lot of governors. There's actually a little bit of a problem. We don't have... We don't have that many people who are suitable candidates uh, to be governors. How crazy is that? Is that my Hastus? That is my Hastus. What are you doing over there? <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Alright. We're going to complete... No, we're not even going to complete the road. There's still another good couple of good couple of blocks remaining but we're getting close we're getting very very close at a road excellent and you can go and build i don't want to build a farm a farm is lame a farm is super lame let's build hamlets sure consumes food but gets us money i guess right across here across here that's about as far as we can go. Scholarship is two years away, so that's fine. Absolutely fine. We got some Hastuses around around here. So Greece is pleased pleased with me, but Greece is still weak. That's what I don't understand. Greece is still Greece is still weak. Okay, let's get let's get a couple of these guys promoted. Uh, in fact, we can probably promote a whole bunch of them actually. Yep. So that's for free. Quite a lot of them uh, happening for free, by the way, which is very, very nice. Does it reset? Does it set the limit? It might set the... Uh... I might need to try and pay a little bit more attention to when my dudes are ready to, uh, to upgrade. Because I just thought... I just thought, you know, you stick them on there and they just, you know, they upgrade until... Are they sorry? They gain experience until they until they can't gain any more experience. But that seems maybe it's not the case. Yeah, because I thought that it just it just kept on adding, kept on adding, kept on adding. But uh, but maybe not. All right, move you over here, and yeah, you can gain experience. And I also want to get you fortified. Why did I, why did I do that? Okay, move you over there. You don't need to be fortified this turn, but, you know, quite nice to, to get fortified at some point. Man, I, oh, I'm desperate. I'm desperate to go to war. I'm desperate to go to war with Greece. I need to expand a whole bunch on upgrades, though. Let's get you upgraded combat. Greece is still stronger. Greece is still technically stronger. And uh, it can't take action after moving. We can get you promoted. It's going to cost me 200 points, but that's fine. We got plenty of points. Ideally, though, I would save my points for Hastis upgrades. Upgrade to Legionary? Yeah, in fact, I'd love to do that. Can't take this action after moving, though, so... We'll move the Hastuses in the first instance right on over to Rome. Smash in an upgrade over there. And that'll help out. That'll help out tremendously. Yeah, that's really, really good, actually. And that still leaves us with a whole bunch of courage points. A whole bunch of training points. Not like our rate of training points is, is tremendous at this moment in time. It's, it's actually a little bit lackluster. I would like to improve that. Ah, oh, sure, whatever. Throw throw in a, a new governor or whatever. That's great. Okay. There we go. There we go. Lots of leveling up that needs to be done. Which is quite nice. Let's get you upgraded. In fact, does this city have legendary culture? It's strong level three, and it's going to be legendary next turn. Oh, that's gonna, that is so perfect. That is so, so perfect. Right, we'll move you back into a sewer. Get you healed up. Anyone else that needs an upgrade? Just a basic combat, uh, combat upgrade. Uh, give you a combat upgrade too. You can be upgraded to a legionary, like literally on the next turn. Look at that. Actually, sorry, no, not the next turn, the turn after. But, I mean, pretty darn close. Pretty darn close. Have we connected? Oh, we, we did actually connect the... Uh, we did actually connect the city to the capital. I think it must be... It must be the case that you just need to get to the border. Or unless there was a road already over here. 
I guess there was already a road here. Cool. Give me a Shrine of the Vulcan. That's tremendously powerful. And is going to increase our iron output by a lot. Any other upgrades that we need to do? You need to be upgraded as well. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is great. Oh, this is fantastic. This is fantastic. Okay. We got our brand new, a brand new shiny unit. Sure. Get you upgraded to combat strength two. You're now known as the ready. Nice. I like that. I'll take that. I'll take that any day of the week. Uh, yeah, we can get you promoted. Sure. Critical hit chance. I mean, I'm now just spamming points out, but for the most part, I think that's fine. Can we get you upgraded? Yeah, let's get you upgraded to... Oh, legionary. Brilliant. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Next turn, we will get you leveled up as much as we possibly can. Now we will conduct a couple of improvements to the city of Asur. Not like it particularly matters. 22 out of 32 victory points, by the way. I don't want to say that I'm the most powerful, most likely to win individual here. However, that does seem to be the case. Alright. And how many polyboluses do I need? I need a couple of polyboluses. I still need a lot. How can I not do that? Unbelievable. Uh, is it worth me building polyboluses in this city because I get an additional XP boost? Not really. I think I care more about just getting the polyboluses out as quickly as I can. You're ready for an upgrade as well. Didn't even notice that. Is anyone else ready for a free upgrade? No. Is the is the answer? No is the answer. Nobody else is ready for a free upgrade, as far as I can see. However, however, everyone is certainly in a really, really, really good position. Holy cow. Holy cow, am I happy with this. This is looking really, really good. 22 out of 32 points. An easy war. An easy war with Egypt. We just, boom, we take a lab and we maybe take... Uh, these two cities. I don't know. We can take a whole bunch of cities. Uh, we're going to go to war with Egypt after we go to war with uh, with Greece. It's literally a simple progression from here to the end of the game. I think uh, next episode, we're absolutely going to be able to wrap things up. That's tremendously exciting. Thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, thank you also to the fantastic Patreon supporters over at patreon.com forward slash open potato. Also, thanks to Banana Nana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.